everybody, this is Jeff Benning here, and I'm here in my studio, which today has been transformed into a winter wonderland, or the winter palace set, as we're calling it. So I did a total studio transformation, and during the month of January only, 2023, this is what my studio looks like. I've got the ice wall, I've got the igloo wall, I've got uh, the mirror, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, I've got this pile of snow down here, and I've got the ice throne. And of course, what would an ice palace be without fog? There we go. And I've also got fake snow. So I've got an industrial indoor snow machine. And let me kind of walk through and show you the different parts of it here. And I'm also gonna tell you how I built everything and how you can do it yourself. So let me start with this wall right here. This is the simplest. I've got these sheets right here of paper. This is tracing paper. And the roll is about two and a half feet wide. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm gonna link to it in the description below, uh, the paper. So this was really cheap. I don't remember how much it was. I wanna say like 40 bucks or something like that. And I got like a hundred foot roll. So what I did is I rolled out about 10 foot sheets and then I attached them to the top uh, and lined them up, staggered them across so that you don't see anything behind it. So if you peek back here, I've got this layer of this silky fabric. This is chiffon. Um, and then I've got these uh, cheap strip light LEDs, like the kind that you run behind your TV to get like the accent lighting. So I've got that zigzagged across this wall and that creates the backlighting. So this right here is the igloo wall and the igloo wall is made up of a bunch of five inch by seven inch postcard boxes uh, i've got 400 of them it's 10 feet wide and it is eight feet tall so what you do is you fold all those boxes and that's just about as tedious as it sounds and then you glue them all together um, this is glued onto a piece of blue uh, savage seamless paper so i rolled out a sheet of seamless blue and I just taped these down. Uh, you wanna start in one area and then build it out and then stagger them. And I used Gorilla Glue adhesive. So it's an ultra strong adhesive spray glue. Uh, side note, you wanna make sure that you're gonna be running a fan when you're gluing those because I was gluing them and I thought like, ah, oh, this is cool because I thought I'd be breathing in more glue than what I actually am. This isn't that bad. And then I go to stand up and I'm like, well, I think I breathed in a little bit more glue than I thought I did. So that's cool though, because I have a lot of brain cells and I don't need all of them. Um, so anyway, you want to glue these all together and that creates kind of this ice block effect. Now you're seeing at the top here, this reflection of this light. This is from my chandelier that I have. I just love adding a little bit of warm light onto the cool light. Let me show you the light that I've got here. I've got this off to the side just kind of shooting bare bulb. There's no modifier on it. I want the light to just kind of spread everywhere and I want it to give a little bit of just kind of a blue ambiance. So this is the light that I have going in the background. This is the SZ15R. This is a 150 watt Godox RGBW uh, color changing light. You can change the color with the Godox, with the Godox app on your phone without having to go up and make adjustments and go back and make adjustments and then go back and make adjustments. So you can use the app and change the color temperature, the color, uh, the hue, the saturation, the brightness, all from the app on your phone. So this is an ultra convenient light. This is the main light that I use in most of my pictures that I take. I don't really use strobes anymore. I use constant light for just about everything. So this is a fantastic light. I actually have two of them and I highly recommend getting this light. It's really convenient, it's really powerful, and it's just an all around great, reliable light. So on the floor right now at my feet, I've got some polyfill, and polyfill is just uh, craft nerd talk for just like loose cotton that you would stuff in to make like a teddy bear or a pillow or something like that. So it's called polyfill. I bought these on sale, it was like $2.47 a bag. 
Uh, I bought three bags, I only needed one. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But what I did is I got these cheap little LED fairy lights. They're, each one is battery powered. And I got a pack of like 15 of them or something. And I'll link to that in the description too. But if you bury these in the clouds, then it kind of gives like this warm glowing backlight effect. So here's the polyfill and here's these LED lights. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop these in here and then just, I'm going to just bury these lights. And you can see that gives a nice warm glowing effect. So now let me show you the mirror set that I've got here. So I've got this mirror and what it is is I just bought some molding at Home Depot. Just some two inch molding, uh, three inch molding I think it was. And I got like a four foot piece, two ten foot pieces and I built just a rectangular frame. And then I got a 48 foot roll of four foot mylar. And mylar, if you don't know what that is, that is like the reflective foil type material that's in those uh, like happy birthday balloons and things. And uh, so it's reflective, it's shiny, and it also kind of like will wave a little bit. And what I wanted is I didn't just want like a regular mirror, I wanted like a type of like a mystic portal looking mirror. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second and how I've got this set up. So basically I've got this huge rectangle. I can't fit it all in the frame. It's 40 square feet. So what I do is I blast the fog at it. And what that does is it causes the, uh, the mirror to kind of ripple. So it creates these reflections that kind of look like you're underwater. So it, it makes this mylar ripple. And that's what kind of creates like the mystic portal effect. And then I have this light up here. This is actually the same Godox light, the SZ150R, the RGBW light. I've got that in an optical snoot and uh, that's aiming down here in a spotlight. And so the light is reflecting off of right here. The light is kind of up here, reflecting at the mirror and then bouncing back at me. And it kind of creates this underwater look. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, this is my fog machine remote. So you see I blast the fog directly at the mirror and then it creates this really neat effect combined with the warm light reflecting off of the um, off of that mirror it gives kind of this mystic portal effect and then you can see like your own reflection and do some ooh, do some pictures here with that playing with the reflections and stuff like that. So that's another really cool addition that I have. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is my indoor snow machine. And I'm really happy with the one that I've got. It took me a little bit of figuring out to get it to work just right. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do for that. I'm gonna to link to this one in the description. Um, it's a great, great asset that I have here in the studio. So um, this one has this wired remote to it. I turn it on on the back and uh, let me get in here a little bit closer if I can. So you could see this has this uh, remote, or this has this wired remote, and it's got, it's kind of like this volume dial button, but it's the output control. Now, the thing that you need to know about this is, so it starts here on zero, right? So zero is no fog, or no snow, and then uh, you go one, two, three, four, five, and that's all no fog at all, okay? And then you get to six, that's like maybe a little bit of fog, and then all of a sudden, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is like Donner Party, okay? So what you wanna do when you're operating this is you wanna start with it at about a five, okay? And then you're gonna slowly turn it up to like a seven, and you're gonna start to get a lot of snow coming out. You're gonna let it run for just a little bit, and then you're gonna slowly dial it back until it gets about right where you need it to be. And if you start on a six, and just leave it there, it's not gonna do anything. So you need to go to like a seven, let it run for a little bit, and then turn it back down to a six, 
and then you'll start getting kind of like the light snowflakey snow. If you just leave it on like a seven, eight, or a nine, you're just gonna get these large, like violent clumps, uh, and it's not gonna look pretty, it's not gonna photograph well. So, start on like a five, turn it to like a seven, let it run for a little bit, and then just like slowly tweak it back, and then you'll get the desired effect. Um, the last set that I have is the chair, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in some pictures and videos. Basically, it is, um, I saw this picture on Pinterest, and it was this statue in Berlin called Sleeping Beauty. And um, I saw it and I just thought, I'm gonna replicate that. What I did is I got my regular makeup chair, and I bought some two by fours, and I just kind of framed the pieces around it. And then I got two mannequin heads, that's for the end of the armrests. And I got some other decorative pieces. I did this like right around Christmas and so there were all these, uh, at the craft stores, all these like flower plant decorations that were on crazy sales. And so I just decorated it with that. And I got a top piece that was uh, kind of like a steel or an iron um, wall decoration piece. Uh, it's kind of easy to bend, at least for me though, and um, put that on the top. So let me show you what that looks like in some pictures and video. Alright, so that is my winter ice set, and I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments in the comment section, and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, really helps out a lot. Thank you.